<clears throat> so this is a really, really cool uh, thing that we're doing with our system. I, I'm not going to get too down in the weeds on the details of how it works, and if you're really interested in machine learning, please come talk to me about it afterwards, or we can even get into some dialogue about it. But essentially, people put in parameters, the parts get queued up, they get printed out, and then the goal is to take the data of how successful that print job was, did it achieve the functional requirement that the customer wanted, and feed that back into the Cloud Slicer to improve that optimization algorithm over time. Because it would be really silly if we set that optimization algorithm one time and never change it again, because it's only as good as our best guess was, and it just like slowly gets improved over time. So that, and here's really a good description of how complex this problem is. If I'm in Warsaw versus in Boston versus in Denver versus in Miami, I am in completely different humidity, completely different temperature, completely different pressure environments. And that fundamentally impacts the 3D printing process. And we use big data and we're capturing data on how these machines behave in the field to start solving that problem so that this optimization algorithm is factoring in where is it being printed, what are the conditions that it's being printed in. Because it would be kind of silly to print with the exact same parameters in Denver as it would be in Miami versus in Warsaw. Because they're just completely different places. And that affects the polymers that you're working with.